student comes onto LSU's campus and thinks that the majority of LSU's campus is smoking, they are more likely to participate in smoking-related actions. Um, the guilt appeal theory uh, it <coughs> utilizes the experience of guilt to make people feel negative towards something that they're doing. So in the messages that we produce during our experiments, we use the guilt appeal theory to try to make people feel negative towards smoking and the effects of smoking on others. So then the next question is, why would we experiment? Um, an experiment with a questionnaire is an easy way to gather a lot of data and organize it easily. Um, so our experiment obviously pitted social norming theory against guilt theory, and we were analyzing the effectiveness of the known facts campaign compared to something we created to see if the student health center did a good job with their messages. Um, we used a one-shot case study, which means we showed the people our messages, and then immediately after we could gauge their opinions on them. Um, this is the, easy type, the easiest type of study to use, and it's very easy to replicate. Um, so we used the questionnaire to ask questions and uh, to ask questions after showing them our images and student health center images, and we put them in a mixed up order so they wouldn't know particularly which was which. Um, our independent variables that we used were the social norming theory ads created by the student health center and our guilt appeal ads, and the dependent variables were the attitudes and emotions that were elicited from the different. Questionnaire be completed. 